this is huge for us because uh, now we can bring our streetcars down to the heart of Old Strathcona. And uh, our passengers complained in the past that we were sort of hidden behind the arts barns or the farmer's market building and uh, couldn't see us. And then they were also a couple of blocks away from White Avenue. Now we're right down at White Avenue where streetcar service actually happened here in 1908. So we're, we're bringing back history to Edmonton again. Well, we first proposed this extension back in 2011 and a uh, lot of complicating things in this area because of uh, the location, um, issues with the use of the high level bridge because of uh, potential LRT and high speed rail at, at earlier on in the project and then the, the whole design stage of that. So um, a lot of work, but we just kept focusing on the end result, which is bringing the streetcars down the White Avenue. This is big for me uh, because I see how useful streetcars are. They, they carry lots of passengers. Streetcar systems disappeared in North America starting uh, in the late 1940s until the 50s, but they're all coming back now. Like our uh, Valley Line is a streetcar line, and they use the same streetcars that Toronto uses. So we're part of that history. And so we're celebrating, this is, this is a really old technology, but it still works. It's really reliable and, and fun for us to drive and fun for our passengers to ride on. It should be a really good summer. And we'll also be looking forward to having uh, visitors from outside the city coming back. Uh, we figured about a quarter of our passengers come from outside of Alberta and, and international uh, visitors as well that come to Edmonton to ride the streetcars before they go on to the mountain parks and other parts of Western Canada.